Hello, engineers. This is here uh, my monorail, and here already you can see uh, I broke my connector. This is uh, just to show collision is turned on, and this is my emergency brake when the train would drive too fast to the stop point. Just for example, you can so see the weight. It's a uh, six six hundred over six hundred sixty kilograms, and in the inventory here. Um, I think there are some containers are not fully filled, but it's pretty much full loaded. And just so I can turn a little bit back. As so you can see, it's, I turn the handbrake on and it takes a while to stop. Handbrake off. Now we're driving forward up to 10 kilometers per second. Yeah, this. Let's run a bit. Stop. What? Let's check. I did not damage anything. Let's try again. Can I reach here? works very well here with the breaking point of the wheel suspension as soft breaking point so see because um, to automate the train drive um, I will need a script because uh, the remote control, the autopilot function of the remote control, yeah, does not work for wheels, only for thrusters. Um, so, with a script, mm, yes, um, it's already with the should have a uh, features for loading and unloading and it should easily to set like forward disconnector backward disconnector that's uh, to make easy like your tracks where well, so a lot of curves or something so I could uh, drive to different uh, uh, positions without setting every single curve part a new waypoint but a major point is uh, this with the heavy loaded train set correct uh, braking points um, that's what uh, I f don't think that will be the most scripts or there are will support this function so I, I needed a solution that the train could without any catastrophic drive with speed to the, uh, the stop point. What? And the solution works.
Good. That's all for this video. Bye.